Hello and welcome to this screencast examining some further ideas from section 5.2 of Active Calculus. I'd like to do an example where we investigate uh, an integral function like we've been studying in this section. So I'm going to take something that looks like this. I'm going to define a function uh, as the integral from 0 to x of 1 over 1 plus t squared dt. Now Technically, we know an antiderivative for this function. Um, we already saw it back in chapter two. But let's suppose that we al don't algebraically have an antiderivative for one over one plus t squared. And let's see what we could tell about this function a. Well, the first thing is, what's a prime of x? Well, that is nice and simple by the second fundamental calculus, a prime of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. This is always positive, so a always increasing. Uh, if we differentiate again, we get a double prime of x is a uh, 1 over 1 plus x squared squared uh, times there's a minus one there, times 2x and this is going to be negative when x is greater than 0 and positive for x less than 0. So here we get concave down, and here we get concave up. We even substitute in here x equals 0. We get a prime of 0 equals 1. So if we wanted to start sketching a graph, we know that we need to be increasing. We're going to have a tangent line of slope 1 here. Um, they're going to be concave down here and will be concave up here. And then another thing that we could start doing is we could investigate some Riemann sums to start seeing what happens um, with uh, the values of a of x, right? We could do a Riemann sum to estimate a of 3 and a of 4 and a of 5, and we would see that it seems like a is increasing um, by less and less each time, uh, which would be consistent with being concave down or that we're seeing increasing at a decreasing rate. Uh, to really get at a horizontal asymptote in the graph here, or if this does were to trend to infinity or increase without bound, it is a little more subtle and takes a bit more work to really see what's going on there. But we can see uh, certainly that the limit as x goes to infinity of a prime of x is zero. So the tangent lines get very close to get very close to horizontal as x gets big. And it turns out um, that this function does really have a horizontal asymptote, um, two of them. It has one here at, uh, one up here at pi over two, and another one down here at minus pi over two, um, which you might, be willing to conjecture uh, if you sit down and work out some of the Riemann sums to start estimating a of 10 and a of 11 and a of 12. You'll start getting close uh, to pi over 2, for example, but the, um, the rate at which you, things are increasing will slow down dramatically very soon thereafter.